Good morning. Happy Monday. Happy day one of this egg fest three day challenge. So this morning, y'all, we are basically on lockdown on quarantine. If you watched my last vlog, I kind of knew a little bit at the time. I still don't know everything as of today. So I'll update you throughout this video. I got both boys with me. As you can see, we're at family dollar. We are practicing social isolation. However, I've got to get some things for the boys as far as colors, paints, manipulatives, academic things, since I don't have that or it's limited what I have at home and I am getting their academic game on. We're going to be on a schedule so I got to stock up. So we're going in here and going in, going out quick and we got our Lysol wipes in tow. Breakfast this morning y'all saw was my coffee. I had a tablespoon of butter in it because you're supposed to have a tablespoon of fat per egg that you eat. I don't know if I'm going to do that 100% but I'm going to try three eggs and I had the perfect keto collagen in my coffee. I really don't need any sweetener. Do I need the nut pods? No. Do I love them? Hex to the yes. And I'm not missing them though. So I have found that on this keto cut it has really prepared me for all these challenges except for the intermittent fasting challenge guys. That's going to be the biggest challenge for this girl. Y'all know the girl likes to eat. You will see, but I think that's going to be a great challenge for everybody. That's in a shortage for the grocery store. You don't need any damn food to do the challenge. So hop on board last week of March y'all. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling energized. I took all my supplements this morning as I showed you, which included the electrolytes by perfect keto. And so I'm feeling really, really pumped. Um, I'm still a little on edge a little bit but i'm trying to stay as positive bless you waylon as positive as possible with everything going on y'all heard that from the last vlog like i'm trying not to let the hysteria get to me i'm trying to keep focused with these challenges i'm trying to keep focused with my goals for the keto cut keep focused with the boys being busy and getting their academics on so keeping my mind off all the craziness not putting the news on i'm getting my alerts you know but other than that i'm just trying to stay focused and trying to stay as sanitary as possible and keep Keep our isolation from people they got a lady over here walking her dog right now though i just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know that the egg fast is going great so far we weighed in at 135 i was 134 the entire week last week and coming off carnivore and this weekend and then we had that barbecue pizza last night and anytime i implement like almond flour here lately or anything the scale goes up my body responds to it i'm so sensitive sensitive to things now since being more strict with what i'm putting in my body when i eat other things even though they're good for you my body is like whoa nelly what you put in there and it responds a certain way so eager to see how this egg challenge is going to work we're pretty much getting all fats guys and not a lot of protein and as you know i've been kind of going way high on the protein and you know staying even with my fat too so it's gonna be a little bit different for me as well so i'm gonna see how the scale reacts we're gonna see I don't really care about the scale y'all know that but I just want to see for this challenge and th the whole point of these challenges y'all keep asking is why are we doing these to see how our bodies react to certain foods to see how our bodies react when we don't put fo foods in them and if they are a trigger so that's why I love doing these challenges all right enough talk I need to get in there this store is crowded my phone's blowing up let's go see if we can find any supplies for these boys well there was no toilet paper there was no Lysol spray but they have plenty of educational supplies guys they were fully stocked and I got everything that I needed this is a happy mom right here it's 12 11 I usually eat at 11 30 at work so I think my body's kind of like on like you need to eat time especially since I'm at home even though I'm busy with these crazy boys already day one being home but I got one egg half a cup of cheese to make a chaffle I did put some of this Redmond's real salt organic garlic pepper in here I'm gonna make two waffles and make a chaffle sandwich I took my electrolytes this morning as well I took one of these you can take like a bunch of these throughout the day honestly it says is when you need them so I'm gonna take another one just in case I'm feeling pretty good but I don't want to get low energy and also drinking my smart water as well because it has the added electrolytes getting my pan going over here for my one fried egg and got my chaffle rolling y'all oh my gosh if you have not gotten chaffles whether you're doing an egg fast keto whatever you need to get on it so for my egg I have everything but the bagel seasoning and then of course I slathered it with a bunch of Redmond's real salt. And I almost forgot, I'm gonna take two more of my grass-fed beef liver because you're supposed to take six of these per day. So I've been doing two in the morning, two at lunch, and two at night. Perfectly cooked. Going to take that off the heat so it doesn't cook anymore because I love a runny yolk. Where are my runny yolk people? And then I've got one already, guys. I like to leave it on pretty long so it's crispy on the end. If you take it off prematurely, it's just really limp and soft in my opinion. So I like to let it hang out 
it does overflow just a little bit that's why i always put a towel down but these things are so easy to clean in my opinion yes indeed it's about to go down this is not for the egg fast i know y'all keep seeing that these are high key blondie brownies that i made for the boys this week because i want a sweet option on hand since we are basically homebound with the exception of some bacon doesn't this look freaking amazing oh my gosh i'm just gonna put the lid on this that yolk is gonna get everywhere it oh i'm gonna put some butter on it too i almost forgot what is my life so i'm supposed to put like a tablespoon of fat for every egg i'm not doing that like 100 percent. i'm doing it as close as possible but i am gonna put some butter on top of this too mm -mm -mm. now we're talking now we're in business doesn't that look like a freaking eggo yes indeed but better for you guys Put the lid on. Ooh, look at that butter dripping. Listen to those boys. Look at that, look at that. Oh yes, please in my mouth. I wolf that down incredibly fast. Hmm, I don't know. Hopefully it's 12.30. I don't have a snack in store, but we might have to eat a couple of boiled eggs if we get hungry later. But that was delicious, y'all. And where is my? where have I been living? Where have I been without putting butter on my chaffle? Like, what is my life? I don't even know, because that was that was epic. So it's three o'clock. I did have a snack built in. I had a Jack Snacks. I was supposed to eat this at lunchtime, but I forgot. So that's gonna be my snack this afternoon. And I'm also gonna do my pre-workout because we're gonna go take a walk. And then Planet Fitness just announced that they'll do the at-home live workouts to stream them. So I'm so super excited about that. I'm gonna go see what they have to offer and keep myself accountable with doing that when home. So I am gonna take my pre-workout. It is sweetened with stevia, but we can have sweeteners limited on the egg fast as the rules that I set for everybody anyway. So this is allowed. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my pre-workout and get my snack on. Pre-workout taken. We are taking a little family stroll, trying to get out and about, get some fresh air and get some movement in. That is on our schedule. That is on our COVID coronavirus schedule is to get out and about twice a day with the fam, get some air, get some exercise, get out of the dang house. So I came back home from our little walk. I got some YouTube work in and was waiting for this Facebook Live for Planet Fitness because our gyms are closed in our entire state. I know most of y'all have already told me, this is like a couple of days after that you've watched this, that your gym is closed too. Everybody's on quarantine, lockdown, but Planet Fitness is being freaking awesome and they're doing Facebook Lives every single day to hold us accountable and keep us on track. So you can even go back and replay it. So that's already 10 minutes in. So I'm gonna go ahead and join in with what they've got going on right now and then I will restart it and finish it up. I just want you to trust me if you wanna be Something. Yeah. yeah, then I really need to yeah. Take a look in the mirror. Are you seeing some fear? You hear the voice in your ear. Can you start to see clear? Just got done doing the Facebook Planet Fitness Live video. I did it twice for the Monday. They're doing this every single day, 6 p.m. my time, so definitely check it out, get your notification, and you can go back and re-watch them and do them as many times as you want, guys. Killer. Are y'all seeing the sweat? I don't know if y'all can see the sweat. Yeah, it's a freaking workout, I'm just gonna have to say, and I am so thankful to Planet Fitness. What the actual heck? If you didn't sign up with them, again, never sponsored. They are just amazing. They're like, who else is doing this? They're keeping everybody accountable. They're keeping everybody fit. Shout out to freaking Planet Fitness, y'all. And you don't even have to be a member to get on the Facebook Live thing. Anybody can do it. So when all this blows over, y'all need to go and join and support them for doing this. This is incredible. I, I'm like blown away. Whoo, we gotta get our gains on at home. I'm so excited. Speaking of gains, y'all, I had to come on here and brag about the girls poking out because that workout that we just did, oh, look at, look at that butt. Yeah, I can get the thumbs downs, but you know what? Celebrate every single non-scale victory. Celebrate yourself, especially in these times right now. We need something to keep us focused. We need something to motivate and uplift us and get us non-depressed. So if you got something popping, y'all, freaking post it on Instagram and Facebook and flaunt it. All right, so we are checking ketones. It is 740.3. This is post-workout and pre-dinner. And we got a little meltdown going on behind us because this is going to be the start, guys. I feel your pain out there for my at-home mommies and daddies with ASD kiddos. It's going to be rough, but we got this together, right? So point three, day one, egg fast night one, my dinner. No, I'm just joking. This is not egg fast approved. So I made the Southern Keto cookbook, drop biscuits, and the gravy for the hubs. So this is for the hubs while I make myself 
an omelet. It's gonna be epic. So I have four eggs. I've got four tablespoons of butter for my fat. You're supposed to match a tablespoon of fat per egg. I'm not doing that every day necessarily, but I am for this, for my omelet. I'm probably gonna add some Redmond's, of course, and then we're gonna add some everything but the bagel seasoning because we are allowed seasonings on this. And then we're gonna add some cheese. One and a half ounces of cheese, sharp cheddar. Oh yeah, let's fold this baby up. Here is dinner tonight, final product, four eggs, one and a half ounces of sharp cheddar and a little sriracha drizzled on top with the four tablespoons of butter mixed in to make it nice and fluffy. I usually use heavy whipping cream, like just a tablespoon to give it that fluffiness, but we're gonna see if the butter does the same trick. Popping up the macros. Let's see, this looks delicious. I'm not super hungry, I will say. I was kinda hungry earlier on throughout the day, but as the night went on and after the workout, not so much, and that's usually what happens during these challenges, but we are gonna eat it cause it looks delicious. So delicious, so filling, and why have I not been putting sriracha on my omelets before this? Like, that's why I like doing these challenges because I find myself liking things like the sardines with the carnivore challenge, and now like little things like this, just going forward, how you can implement certain things that are less inflammatory, less triggering, while still being absolutely delicious. So that was so freaking bomb, and it was definitely light and fluffy with the butter. A little bit more butter than I would like to use, honestly, um, if I wasn't doing this egg fast, but good to know. Good to know that you don't have to do the heavy whipping cream. You can put a little bit of butter in there and get the same darn effect. We got up, we ate breakfast, we got dressed. We're going for our morning fresh air walk according to our schedule. However guys, Trey is, this has been rough on him. So my parents with ASD kiddos, I feel you, like I said earlier, this is gonna be a rough transition for us. You got way? Blue and red. You painting St. Patrick's Day stuff? Yeah. Trey Trey's painting too? Yeah. Yeah, y'all doing a good job. It's turning purple. All the time. Well, you did good color in those clovers. Good job. All right, what are we making, Waylon? What is that? Nothing. This is our creative time now, huh? Yeah. We did academics, now it's time for some fun stuff. Trey, put them in there. You put you put one way. Get one. Put it in there. No, oh, wait a minute, wait, Trey. You put one in there. Mama, see the video. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Yeah, I get one. Y'all doing awesome. I'm in this schedule, but it's keeping the mama busy. So I'm going in with some more keto electrolytes from Perfect Keto, some Equip grass-fed beef liver tablets because we're gonna do lunch. I'm drinking some core water. Haven't even talked to y'all yet. It's been crazy, but we will do that after lunch. So let's get it. Egg fast shake. I'll have it in the description box, the recipe guys. Don't knock it until you try it. It's been all over my Instagram. So many people have tried it and love it. Tastes like legit a milkshake from Sonic. So freaking good. Fast shake was delicious and definitely filling. And according to our schedule, it is quiet time. So I got somebody taking a nap and somebody who is not cooperating. Happy Tuesday, happy St. Patty's Day. Finally able to talk to y'all. I've got Waylon down for a nap, Trey's in there watching TV. 
He's probably gonna be right here, yep, right here under my butt in just a second. But I wanted to check in and tell you my breakfast this morning. So we had the egg fast waffles. They were good, a little bland. I would need to definitely put a little bit of monk fruit in there. I did not do that this time. With my coffee, which is delicious, with just the perfect keto collagen, a little bit of melted butter, mm, perfection. Lunch, we had the egg fast shake. That is just enough, guys, and I'm feeling great. I'm taking my electrolytes, I'm drinking my water. We are staying super busy, as you've been seeing. We got our COVID-19 schedule and we are sticking to it except for Trey and not taking a nap. But other than that, we are doing really good, trying to be as normal as possible here. And what I just wanna say is I am so elated. My heart is so full with everything I'm seeing on social media in a good, positive light. So even though we have to stay apart as far as this quarantine and this pandemic, we're coming together more than ever. So they are like videos of people going out on their balconies at apartment complexes and singing to one another and playing instruments and there's people on top of high-rise buildings like looking at other buildings and getting them moving like everybody exercising it's just incredible I mean there's obviously a lot of negativity and a lot of sad stories but guys surround yourself with the positive good flow and vibes because there's so much of it going on right now and we all need to come together because we're all in this together as people as one so that just got my heart super full this morning that got me motivated as ever to stay on our COVID-19 schedule to just you know have those good fly vibes flowing to not think about getting off plan I have so many people off plan and I know there's some situations situations guys where you can't help going off plan especially if your grocery stores are bare like mine starting to get in many places we may get to the point where we only have so much food right and I don't want you guys beating yourself up if you have to go off plan and you have to do something in order to be able to survive if that makes sense because we the unknown is what's the most scary about this is the not knowing but aside from anxiety eating I don't want you to go off plan if you can all right so if you have the resources to stay on plan stay on plan planet fitness is doing that live Facebook thing every single night that's absolutely freaking incredible like I said definitely support them when this is all said and done they are doing amazing I can't wait to it to do it tonight I'm loving the success we're seeing with this egg fast I'm loving the results so far and it's only been a day and a half so keep yourself busy keep yourself motivated keep yourself accountable during this time that's all I can suggest guys is just keep your eye on the goals on the prize and don't think and surround yourself with the negativity if possible try to stay in that zone try to keep everything positive try to be in a good mindset but keep yourself busy and keep yourself motivated. Don't let yourself get in the gutter of, hey, I'm just gonna go ahead and eat this bag of chips because it's here and why not? The world's ending. Don't have that attitude. Don't have that mindset. It's gonna be okay. We need to take a deep breath. The reason why the grocery stores are empty is because you had some people out there going cray. They will restock them. We will be able to get resources. They're not going to hopefully say, hey, look, you can't ever leave and you have to bunker down. I mean, that is a fear in the back of my head. But make do with what you have. This is a great time to look in your freezer, look in your pantry, get creative um, with food and use what you have rather than going and buying excess stuff that we don't necessarily need right now. I know Know there are things that we need and trust me I've went out and got some necessities especially for the kids but for us as adults we can make buy with what we have so if you have a bunch of keto food and you just don't want to put that on the meal plan right now put that on the meal plan and use it and be resourceful right now use that and then when you run out of that then try to venture out in the grocery stores and see what they have then you have a purpose to be there right now we need to social distance ourselves as much as we possibly can but day two feeling awesome I'm really loving a lot of things I'm hearing like I said in social media I'm loving this challenge us come together this is a good way to have people around you but not physically around you if that makes sense so thank y'all so much for doing this egg challenge with me always being supported with these challenges we do have the intermittent fasting challenge coming up at the end of the month so it's the very last monday of this month of March. So definitely get on board for that. And if you don't have your perfect keto base, we can put that in our coffee throughout the day. That's not gonna break our fast. So if you don't have then that in your life, you don't have to go anywhere to get perfect keto stuff, guys. They ship it straight to your door. A lot of y'all are telling me you're going ape with the online shopping. Y'all need to calm down. Calm down out there. It's gonna be okay. 
Uh, make your orders if you need the stuff, guys, but don't go crazy with online shopping either because, like I said, some people need this stuff and they're not able to get it in store and then things are running out online. So only buy things if you need it. But yeah, Perfect Keto ships right to your door. Just saying for the intermittent fasting challenge. Four o'clock, we're about to go get our afternoon fresh air per our schedule. I've got my pre-workout, which is the Equip Blackberry Lemon. Love it. Got it in my shaker. Of course, I've got my Redmond's Real Salt like slathered all over a boiled egg. I wasn't gonna do a boiled egg, but I said, you know what? I'm feeling kind of hungry. I am gonna do the Planet Fitness at home workout again after I walk, so I need something to fuel me until dinner, which is not gonna be way later, probably seven, 7.30ish, and it's four. So I figured I'd go ahead and get that to kind of tide me over. But y'all know I'm obsessed with this pre-workout, like totally obsessed. I even added more Redmond's as I take a bite. I know, get those electrolytes in. We're continuing to follow our COVID-19 schedule. It is 4.30 and we're a little behind on getting our afternoon fresh air. So we're going to take a bike walk, bike walk, a bike ride and a walk. And it looks like it's gonna rain. So hopefully we don't get caught in the rain, y'all. A little sprinkle. It's looking a little drab. But we good, huh, way? Yeah, we're going to make the best of it and not go too far in case it starts downpouring. We have to run and get back home. Mommy should have brought an umbrella. I was not thinking. Waylon, what do we see up there? Grass. No, that's grass, but what else? Cow. A baby cow. You see the cows? They get in their fresh air too, huh? Get outside, y'all. Get some fresh air. See some wildlife, get those positive vibes flowing. Get a cow. This cow is getting it, y'all. It's getting their gains on. Look, we walking together. We doing this together, everybody. People, cows, all animals alike. So it is 6.40, it is loud because I got the boys on their tablets. Mommy's gonna try to do this at-home workout from Planet Fitness. So they go live for me at 6 p.m. and then they upload it to where you can play it numerous times. It's amazing. So I'm gonna get on here and see what they got going. I'm gonna try to do this every single night to keep me accountable and to relieve some of this cooped up stress. Guys, y'all hear these noises around here? <gasps> I'm on Planet Fitness. Let's get it. Or can you be with your feet are you when you stand right here and say no? I'm never gonna give up, I'm never gonna slow. The one that doesn't give up, never loses to a foe. The one that can show to myself I could go all the way to the top, can't stop. I'm a soldier, always closer till it's over. Older, but I'm bolder, moving forward, motor, never slower. Get to know ya. Don't come make me drop my shoulder. You need to believe you can achieve everything that you dream, everything that you need is in the air. You know the workout is good when your messy bun comes undone and it's like all flailing around. Planet Fitness is the poo, y'all, the poo. So I'm just feeling great being able to do some movement with the boys morning and evening and then doing a 30 minute circuit is just absolutely incredible. I'm loving it. I meant to test my ketones before, but I forgot because I was like so zoned in to trying to get my workout while the kids were all over the place. But I'm gonna test them after anyways, and we're gonna eat dinner in a little bit. It's about 7.24, but I'm just feeling so high on workout, pre-workout, and eggs right now. So the mom life had to kick in. I got dinner done, I got kiddos eaten, and I'm gonna go in with another electrolyte by Perfect Keto. I've been taking these like three times a day. You can take them as often as you need to for your electrolytes, and of course been salting with Redmond's over there, everything. And our last two grass-fed beef liver by Equip. I got some water. I'm about to eat dinner. It is legit eight o'clock and I haven't even tested my ketones yet. So I'm gonna do all the things, but I wanted to show you that I am still supplementing three times a day with this stuff. So yesterday y'all saw we were at a 0.3 post-workout. We're at a 0.8 post-workout. So I've just had the shake for lunch. I had the one egg plus the pre-workout plus my supplements. 0.8 baby, we are getting up there. Hex to the yes, egg fast challenge day two, keto coach coming through. Oh my gosh, I'm so pumped right now. Guys, y'all just get used to the noisiness. I've had comments like, turn your phone off, your kids are too loud. We at home now, this is life. Winding down and I made some of my blue cheese deviled eggs. Now usually they have bacon in them. Oh my gosh, so good. But I just omitted the bacon, left everything else the same. I've got a Jack Snacks there from Sam's Club. There's six of them here. So we did pretty good, pretty point on macros and not even really trying. I always plan them out ahead of time so I know what I'm eating to keep myself on track. But it just winds up sometimes we're really close. We crushed it. So good. Those blue cheese deviled eggs, they're even bomb without the bacon. But the bacon just makes it, I have to say. And you could just eat one after another after another. Like I thought six was going to be too much. 
Y'all, it was perfection. And these Jack Snacks, like I can't rave enough about these. If you like those Baby Bell ones, try these if you can find them at Sam's right now. They are a couple of dollars cheaper and to me, they taste way better. I know we've had a little bit of debate about that in the comments below. Some people say yes, some people say no. We absolutely love them. Happy a day three of this egg fast challenge. So I just wanted to pop on here before we get our day rolling. You saw breakfast this morning was three eggs. We switched it up. We had the salted caramel collagen by Perfect Keto with a tablespoon of butter. That is so good. Like you don't even need any creamer if you're just gonna do butter. It makes it so like creamy. I'm absolutely loving it. I love finding out new things on these challenges and finding what I like, how my body responds. So that's the whole point in doing these challenges and have us come together as a community to just keep us focused, keep us challenged, and keep us on track. If I have not been doing outfit of the days, I'm going to go run through them real quick because I totally forgot and I know a lot of y'all enjoy that. So today's is Target head to toe. These are the little universal thread shirts. They're actually like on sale. Uh, they were anyway, five bucks, but they're like eight bucks regular prices. This is a camo one. It's also universal thread shorts from last year. They're a size up, but they still fit just fine. Yesterday, we went all St. Patrick's out with the Keto Conduct avocado earrings and the dad bod be gone shirt that I ordered from him. I love his shirts. They're so cute for every season. And then the day before, what we do? Some leopard um, Target leggings with my Colsey top. Y'all know I'm obsessed with Colsey right now. A lot of y'all were like, a girl, you had me buying all the Colsey and I was going out and about and realized it was a pajama line. It is, but it's like a lounge wear line. So it's a lot of stuff that you can wear out. You don't necessarily have to wear it inside. Now, some things are straight up pajamas, so don't get cray. But they have some things that you can definitely Definitely like make a grocery run in and things like that. So I'm absolutely loving Target stuff right now. You know what I really like to do is get on Target's online website and I like to look at the Target style with people posting like how they style their outfits and that's honestly how I purchase things and it gets me every time. The girl has to stay off of it. So feeling good for this egg fast challenge. I'm loving, loving it. I'm loving the response always that y'all have, how y'all lift and y'all have each other's backs and you're just encouraging each other over on Instagram and in the comments of these videos absolutely love it there's so much craziness and negativity going on i got a lot of backlash for my grocery haul that i posted um last week when you're watching this but i feel like we bought enough for the week and i'm going to continue to just buy things as we're out or needed to leave things on the shelf for people that have nothing. And I felt like I did that, but there's just some people that are coping with their anxiety in different ways. And I'm being sensitive to that as well. And just being really understanding that everybody's going through a rough time. Crap's real out there. So we're about to get our day started. We're gonna go for our morning walk. We have educational stuff to do. I posted that video on how to do your coronavirus schedule and how to keep your kids on track. Hopefully that was helpful. I've got some other videos I think that are going to be helpful. That's where I'm kind of focusing right now is how to keep everybody on track, how to keep everybody coping with this and organized and keeping everybody's insanity while we're all quarantined in, right? So that's going to be my goal for videos is how to be as helpful as possible for you guys and to keep things positive, keep the good vibes flowing and just have the uplift going because we don't need negativity. We don't need the drama right now. There's enough of that going on on its own. So let's get started with our day tomorrow so it says three days for the egg challenge for this video but tomorrow I'm gonna weigh in so we can see the results from Monday to Thursday morning and then I'll tell you my in thoughts about it tomorrow but let's get through today let me get the kiddos ready and let's get this schedule going fresh air morning time now because again what is up with this weather we might not be able to get out and about this evening so we're gonna try to get about 20 minutes of exercise fresh air time in before we start doing our learning for the day. The boys have really been enjoying getting out and about um, versus being cooped up in the house. So guys, you can take a walk, you can take a bike ride. That's not gonna hurt. That's gonna get your fresh air and that's gonna get you and your family active as well. Waylon, we doing school stuff? Yeah. You. You coloring stuff that looks the same? Yeah. Good job, bud. I'm gonna do this one. Yeah, do that one. Good job. One little dot. 
Just one little dot. You getting it? <laughs> no. Where does it go? Right here. Good job. All right, we gotta find number five next. Where's number five? Perfect. Good job, buddy. Make sure you put enough on there. You can put a little bit more. All right, we cooking now. You coloring, Trey? We're about to start doing some counting and pasting. Get it, bud. Get it. Let's put some glue down. All right, put it on two. Good job, Trey. All right, where's number three? We gotta find number three. Where's number three? Where's number three? Good job, buddy. You did it, Trey. Give me a high five. Yeah, buddy. He did so good, y'all. I'm so proud. And academics. We got one more thing to do later, but pretty much done. Um, Trey goes a little ham with the bingo marker thing for my ASD parents. <laughs> y'all probably understand. But he did so good with this. Like, I was so blown away. He picked out almost every single number on his own. No prompting. And he loves gluing. So, my gosh. So freaking proud. Proud mom moment. Proud autism mom moment right there for sure. I've been in contact with his teacher. She is so worried about all of her kids. And I've been showing her what we're doing. And she is like, oh, my God. I love you. <laughs> so, I'm trying to keep uh, him on track and on schedule as much as possible, guys loving it so they're doing awesome so proud of them so it's about 12 20 i'm going to be making lunch i'm going to take another perfect keto electrolyte and some grass fed beef liver and get some lunch in i'm feeling kind of down on this egg fast day three as far as feeling a little bit lightheaded and stuff i'm making sure i'm drinking plenty of my electrolyte water but i think we need to get some more food in so we're gonna get lunch going so for today's lunch we're doing lunch on repeat so we have half a cup of cheese one egg will make you two waffles in our mini dash maker again if you don't have this whether you're doing the egg challenge or not you need it in your life and i'm going to fry up an egg and put some butter on it. Remember we talked about how good the butter was on it? Mm -hmm. So here is lunch. I got a tablespoon of butter on the bottom of the egg, tablespoon on the top. We got our egg, our cheese waffle, delicious, even if you're not doing the egg challenge like I mentioned, and of course a Jack Snacks from Sam's Club. Those things are so good. I'm glad I got two bags, not knowing with all this craziness, right? Because we stocked up on those. And no, I did not prepare for that monthly uh, Sam's Club haul as far as the pandemic goes. I had a lot of people comment that, oh, you only did that because we did not know down here. Everything was normal um, when I did that haul. So I just bought extra because we like them <laughs> and good to know that uh, I did, right? So I'm starving. We're going to get to it. It's one o'clock. I'm feeling faint. Honestly, I'm going to get this in so I don't feel lightheaded. I'm keeping everything transparent with y'all. Been feeling good on day one and day two, but day three, we are feeling some ways. Checking in after lunch. I feel way better since eating. I definitely um, need to eat while on this challenge I'm finding. I was feeling great day one, day two. Day three, I feel good, but I've been feeling kind of lightheaded and a little dizzy as I was telling you guys. So I'm making sure that I'm eating for breakfast and lunch. I know some people on these egg fast challenges can go without eating. The girls got to eat. I'm also finding I think my body is craving protein right now. So even though we're getting eggs, I'm craving meat. I'm wanting the meat in my life. So am I tired of eggs? I know I'm going to get that question no y'all know the girl loves some damn eggs and I'm still loving them I just want like some steak or some sausage on the side yeah we're missing the meat so I'm only going to do the challenge for three days that's what we set out for and I'm glad I set it for three days I'm going to eat egg fast tomorrow for breakfast and lunch and Friday but for dinners we're going to go just keto because I've got to implement some more protein in my life. As y'all been seeing on the carb manager little pop-ups every day I've been really low on my protein and if you've watched me for any amount of time you know here recently we've been going over our protein goals and I just feel really strong. I feel really good when I have more protein in my life. I feel super lean. I do want to stress that I feel really really lean no inflammation no bloating but I've been feeling that way even on my keto cut. So 
I think this is a great tool to use guys if you need to shed some pounds before an event, if you're going to the beach or wanna look good in your bathing suit, if we can get out and even do those things, right? But just have it as a back pocket tool in your arsenal to shed some water weight, shed some bloating, shed some weight weight before you know you want to do something special whatever i think this is a great way to do it and a great way to kick start yourself back into ketosis if you binged ate or if you went off plan for a vacation this is a really good thing to do for three days so this is definitely something that i will implement again if need be going forward do i like the egg fast better than the carnivore challenge i've gotten that question already today i like both of them honestly i think i'm seeing more results on the egg fast challenge than i am carnivore as far as feeling even more lean if you can believe that and the scale I'll be interested to see what the scale says tomorrow even though y'all know I usually don't care about the scale it's just for the challenge sake and you know for the experiment sake as well so feeling okay we've got the boys doing a little quiet time right now and then we're gonna pick up with the rest of our day I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different for dinner that I'm excited to share with y'all 236 going in with another keto electrolyte pill these things have been my saving grace I really really think these make a difference but I can feel when it wears off so right now on this challenge I'm just trying to keep my electrolytes going drink plenty of water so I don't feel like faint and don't feel low energy that's the plan that's the goal so it is four o'clock it is on schedule for us to go outside and get our afternoon fresh air I'm gonna do my pre-workout which of course is the equip I'm loving this stuff I need the energy right now I'm feeling super low I also took another one of these I'm just popping these like candy because I'm feeling really low on energy today and I know it's the electrolytes because as soon as I take them I feel better also getting my real salt in by Redmond's that definitely helps me I've got one boiled egg and in my perfect keto shaker I'm gonna down this it's gonna give me the energy I need to get through with these crazy kids and to possibly get a workout in later four o'clock on our schedule that means more afternoon air more afternoon walking right way uh -huh. you riding your bike yeah being extra with your rain boots oh, yeah. yeah but they got too many cars on our street today. I don't know what's going on, but this mom is about to report some people for going too fast because my my anxiety with my kiddos out here and these people acting cray cannot take it. Whoo, y'all, we gonna get through this. We gotta get through this together. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. But people just need to calm down and stop acting cray. Like what's going on? Whoo, mamas, we need a chill pill. It is mommy time. I have been doing all the things with the kids. Y'all let me know if you have like cabin fever or if you're not taking care of yourself, but the girl like peeled off her gel nail polish from the salon because you know, we can't be doing that anymore. We can't get bougie. And I had to old school pull out my nail polish and I'm still taking care of myself. Self-care guys is super important right now. So please, please still take care of you. I've spent the whole day with the kids and then after six, after dinner, I'm doing my at-home workouts with Planet Fitness. I'm editing, uploading videos videos, doing some creator content and focusing on mama so they can have all day, but you need to take some time for yourself. So I hope you're doing that. And I am right now. I've got them laying down. We're going to get this workout on. I just want you to trust me if you want to be something. Whoo, guys, if y'all haven't done the Planet Fitness Lives on Facebook, where are you even at at home? It's like 30 minutes. I'm looking at it's like not even 30 minutes. Killer workout. They've uploaded them all. They're even after they've gone live. I mean, amazing. They even have the biggest loser trainers coming on here with us. They are killing it and I'm feeling the burn and I am thankful for it. So it's about 8.05, I need to correct this on here. My batteries got jacked up and I had to re-put it in there. I was having all kinds of technical difficulties. I got blood everywhere. I mean, it was craziness, but 0.7. So we're still doing good on this egg fast challenge. I'm feeling good now after a workout. I really need to be doing my workouts in the morning. I've always said that, but with the boys being home and now homeschooling them, I don't know how I'll fit in the schedule. We'll see. The hubs is on call for work. I'm on call for work too, guys, as far as teaching goes. So if I have to go in for some reason, I'm on call. He works for the school board as well. He's on call for his job and he's been out and about the past couple of days have been absolutely insane, but there are going to be some days where he'll be at home. So maybe I can fit a workout in in the morning and then we can do their schooling and kind of adjust our 
COVID-19 schedule we got going on, but I'm happy with this number. Y'all know, don't let the numbers get in your head, but it's a good way to keep you accountable, a nice tool to keep you on track and see how your body's responding to what's going on. So let's get some dinner ready. Do I need to even say anything right now? Like take in that beauty right there. Egg pizza. Like if we weren't doing the egg fast, like wouldn't some salami or some pepperoni be so good on there? Or you can make this like breakfast style with some sausage, maybe some crumbled sausage on there. So many ideas guys. And if you can have access to eggs, I know they're kind of scarce in some areas right now. They are cheap and you can make so many different meals out of them versus going buck wild in the store right now. So just get you some damn eggs and be creative. Like what the actual heck? I got my sriracha on there. I've got a little bit more Italian seasoning on top of there. I've got the two ounces of mozzarella. This is going down like so, so hard right now. You can so pick it up like a pizza too. Like what? Y'all, this is something awesome we've discovered. Let's see how it tastes. I had to get on here and show my face to talk about this egg pizza what the actual heck where has that been all my life i am mind blown by this pizza like i cannot believe i just ate that it tasted like i ate a real pizza no eggy taste at all especially if you let it crisp up and it has like a, a crust and we added the cheese and we added the topping just imagine if we would have had freaking pepperoni or like the other options i mentioned on there i am mind blown like this is going to be incorporated in my daily somehow Thus going forward, if you want a really low carb, high fat option, get on the freaking egg pizza. Freaking mind blown. Mind blown, y'all. Oh my gosh. So I love these challenges. Like I said, I love these challenges because we find new things that we love. And who doesn't have, well, what am I even talking about? I was going to say, who doesn't have eggs and cheese? Like, what world are you living in, Nicole? What world are you living in right now? If you have eggs and cheese, get on the egg pizza. Life life chaffles egg pizza this egg challenge is where it's at y'all also wanted to mention that i did take my two grass-fed beef liver tablets and my turmeric they don't have this on their website they are working on it and it's kind of hard right now with everything going on but if you can get turmeric in your life whether it's with equip or some other type of supplement do it i find that it is definitely bringing the inflammation down like i don't have a lot anyways but i feel like this definitely helps you feel less inflamed it helps you feel leaned out i really think it makes a difference it cleans you out if that makes sense not like you know poop wise but pee wise i know tmi but it has such great ingredients in it if y'all can see that i know it's kind of bright not focusing but it's got black pepper hcl powder it's got ginger and it's got a crap ton of turmeric which i think makes a huge difference oh my gosh y'all blowing out what is my life turmeric just get it just get it guys i wanted to tell y'all my supplements i was taking at night as well as in the morning what is wrong with this camera Our morning air, fresh air, is what's keeping this mama sane. Y'all hear that wind blowing? It feels nice out here this morning. It's nice and pretty and sunny. Waylon's up there looking all extra with his boots. Got Trey Trey over here holding Momo's croc because for my ASD parents out there, do your kids like grab weird odd objects and it's like a safety thing for them? Like I always don't know what he wants and he picks up the most random things and it's like a stimming safety thing for him. So we just roll with it y'all, we roll with it. So we're getting our fresh air. We're gonna go back and do academics. Trey, does that start with A? X. Can you put it on the glue for mommy? Bye. Put it right, good job. Yeah. Awesome job, buddy. What you doing, Waylon? Coloring. You're not coloring, you're tracing. What letter is that? E. Well, that's E, but the big letter is A, right? 
awesome. So I just filmed this as a like Foodie Fridays video. I haven't done one of those in forever because I know a lot of people aren't on Instagram and don't watch the vlog. So definitely if you need a visual video learning tool, I posted this last Friday, should have. As you can see, the girl's eating it again. Yes, indeed. We're gonna have this often and we're gonna do a variation with a little bit of keto style thrown in there as well. Mmm, yummy. Destroyed it. Get the egg pizza in your life, whether you're doing the egg challenge or not. If you were keto, you need this in your life. Like I was just brainstorming like a egg pizza with some of the Southern keto sausage and gravy on top. Yes, please. Finally checking in with y'all. It's about three o'clock on Thursday. So I wanted to go ahead and talk about the egg fast results. So we weighed in at 135 on Monday. Today we weighed in at 133.2, I think it was. Oh, Nelly. Two pounds, guys, in three days, basically. Two pounds, that's incredible. I have not been this weight. I cannot even tell you what y'all know. The numbers aren't a thing for me, but wow, this is definitely a tool if you want to shed a couple of pounds in a quick amount of time in a healthy way, I find, because as you can see from the macros, the girl was eating and I was still hitting my macros except for my calories and my protein, but we were still hitting the fat almost spot on per day. So we weren't being deficit in the fat. So I think this is great to do if you're in a stall, if you're in a plateau, toe if you binged and you're out of ketosis and you want to get back in I think this is great I actually think this is better than the carnivore as far as jump starting your system do I think carnivore is a little bit healthier um, long term absolutely but I mean eggs fats and cheese and moderation for this and we got really creative with it as well delicious i did not feel deprived at all i'm still loving eggs i know i've i've already said that before but i am loving this egg fast challenge so i'm keeping it egg fast for breakfast and lunch today thursday and tomorrow friday but tonight we're going to be having a keto dinner so definitely follow me on instagram because i'm going to be posting things over there even more frequently now with all this craziness going on versus everything being documented in a vlog here because i know these these vlogs are going to get long because they're already long. They're going to get longer just with a short amount of time because I got all this free time on my hands, not really with the kids, but you know what I mean, just being home and not being stuck at work all day for 10 hours. Egg fast, thumbs up. Y'all let me know if y'all did the egg fast or if you're interested in the egg fast, definitely try it guys. Thank you to everyone who joined on this egg fast challenge. I appreciate y'all so much. Us rallying together even more so right now as a community is most important, guys. We need to be lifting each other up. We need to be each other's inspiration. Positivity is what we need to be spreading here because there's so much negative going on. There are so many people that are falling off course, so many people that are falling into depression, anxiety. We have got to be there to lift, motivate, and inspire each other. And I sure hope that these videos that you watch from me are some sort of highlight in your day, if that makes sense, to spread a little bit of positivity and just be a little bit of brightness in a world that's so dark right now. I'm not gonna lie though, there are times today was a rough day for me. It finally hit me today after what, six or seven days being locked up in the house as far as feeling a little anxious, feeling a little overwhelmed with the kids, doing the homeschooling. It's gonna happen to us, but it's okay. It's okay to say, you know what? I am human. Everybody's having these moments. I need to just pick myself up, take a deep couple of breaths and just move on. You know, there, there's way worse things that could be happening to us inside of our homes and to ourselves. We just need to take a minute, reflect, chill, take a breath, and just keep moving forward. So that's my advice, y'all. Do not have the news on 24 seven. We're only watching the news here once at night for an update basically to make sure, you know, there's not zombies walking around or something. And that's it. We don't have it on 24 seven. We're not looking at the stuff on our phone. What I'm looking at on my phone is YouTube videos from my favorite creators here. I'm looking at makeup tutorials. I'm looking at keto stuff. I'm looking at stuff that has nothing to do, grocery hauls, even though they're like pandemic grocery hauls. I love seeing people talk about food. So I'm looking at those things to get my mind out of it. And I suggest you guys do the same. So on here is only going to be positivity about what's going on, not ever negativity and helpful information is what I'm trying to throw at you guys. 
guys. I'm trying to throw out some recipe videos and things just to get our minds off of what's going on. So dive into a good book, binge on a Netflix series, you know, get out here and do some activities out in the yard, go and take walks like we've been doing with the kids and be active outside, go for a hike, do things to get your mind off of this. I'm not saying be unaware because like I said, we're watching the news once a day, but you don't wanna get wrapped up in it guys because it's easy to get overwhelmed with the anxiety, the depression, and everything else that can you know, go down the wormhole with this. So that's my advice is just stay busy, have a lot of projects, make a list every day, watch a couple of shows, you know, give yourself some grace during this time and just be patient with your kids and be patient with yourself. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I wanna thank each and every one of you for continuing to come back and support me here. It means everything. Clicking on these videos, watching, commenting, sending me messages over on Instagram, asking about myself and my family. It means everything to me to still have this community going strong through everything that's going on guys we've got this we can do this together especially most of my followers are women guys we have this together ladies we've got this we've got each other others back we're not mom shaming we're not shaming about any decisions that we're making for ourselves and for our family just being in everybody's corner and rallying together and motivating and coming together as a human race during this time when we need each other the most, right? So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so, so much. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up. That definitely helps get it circulated around to others so they can have a little bit of positivity information in their life. And if you're not subscribed, I'd love to have you a part of the family. So make sure to hit that button, do all the things, click the notification bell so you don't miss a future upload from me. Yeah, because a little birdie told me that YouTube's acting cray right now and they are not suggesting videos except for the Fox News, like coronavirus, craziness so make sure you're still supporting your favorite creators make sure that your notification bells are clicked for all the creators that you love watching because apparently youtube's acting great i love y'all i hope y'all enjoyed the egg fast we have the intermittent fasting challenge coming up on march 30th i will have lots of information over on instagram make sure to follow me i will be doing little ig tv videos insta stories i'll be trying to post them on my youtube stories so make sure you look out for those and in the feed and stuff to keep y'all up to date on the intermittent fasting challenge we have on march 30th i think it's going to be a great way for us to get together stay focused stay dedicated reach our goals not fall off course our plans to definitely join me for that. So just stay focused, stay healthy, keep moving y'all, be patient with yourself, give yourself some grace. I love y'all so much. Thank you again for watching. Take care of yourself, be cautious, be proactive, and we'll see you in the next video.